What I love about living in Milton is that Milton offers the best of all scenarios for people. So it's a good place to live, it's a good place to work, and it's a fantastic place to enjoy all the things that you would want to enjoy on your weekends and evenings. It has a mixture of small town, so we still have the, the fall fair, but at the same time, we're one of the largest commuter communities in the Toronto area. And so we've got all the new modern capabilities that come along with it. For my family, we really enjoy that mix. So the town of Milton is one of the fastest growing municipalities in Canada. We presently have a population of 111,000 people with people moving into the town every day. We started here in 2001, population was around 30,000. And since we've moved into Milton, the population has quadrupled. So with growth comes traffic, and with traffic comes congestion. And so the citizens were experiencing some pinch points in terms of our uh, existing infrastructure to handle the amount of traffic. The biggest areas that we had concerns with was the main road running east-west through the town of Milton. Two sets of signals spaced extremely close together. There was absolutely nothing that the town could do with the manpower we had um, trying to adjust those timings. And for my neighborhood, uh, Thompson Road near the commuter train station. Generally, it's, it's literally one to two minutes to get through. Uh, at the peak of when traffic was really bad, just to get through that stretch of about a kilometer or about half a mile could take you five to 10 minutes uh, in that time frame, which means you're just sitting there staring at the brake lights in front of you. And that's infuriating. <laughs> So it was very frustrating to staff. We knew there was an issue. We had limited manpower in our um, department. We did our traffic studies. We dumped all the data into Synchro. We could only do as much as we had the capability of doing. And we could never know if there was an improvement to what we did unless if we got another complaint. And those complaints just seemed to never go away until we started the pilot. My vision basically builds systems, hardware and software systems to help cities um, understand and optimize traffic flow. So, you know, how many vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists are going through a network? How are they interacting with each other? Are they doing things that are unsafe? Uh, and then ultimately, are there things you can do to optimize congestion uh, performance and, and safety in the city? Heidi at the town of Milton, she was looking for a solution and she found us, she discovered us. And as with every traffic problem, you have to start with data. We started small, we started with the pilot, two intersections, downtown core, very close by. There was a clear congestion that was happening there, lots of complaints that were going on. First of all, we, we were able to measure the road users' experience. How much travel time they're experiencing and, and we, were able, we were able to see that on some of the movements, uh, that the town was getting a lot of complaints on, uh, people had to wait multiple cycles in order to pass through. And there was a clear queue management problem that was happening there. So we started seeing the data come back. That comes back in a few different charts and tools that we have. We call that the, the insights part of our platform where it measures essentially vehicle progression by movements. It measures travel time through the corridor. It would measure delay, volumes uh, of all the different types of vehicles, cars, trucks buses, pedestrians, uh, bikes, all those things that would be collected all at once. So once we had about two to three weeks worth of data, the problem essentially started identifying itself within the platform. There were some controller problems that were happening at that time. There was some signal timing issues that, that were causing that problem and quickly being able to identify that and ultimately uh, address it. And we could see the improvements instantaneously by just looking at the time-space diagram. I actually saw that the cameras go up. And, and since then, I've noticed a significant improvement in the traffic without making any significant changes to the roads, just understanding what's going on, identifying the root cause and fixing that root cause. And I have to say to this date, we haven't had any complaints with respect to that corridor, which is amazing considering we used to get at times two or three a week about that little corridor. You're not looking in our world for larger solutions that need to change your entire infrastructure. You're looking for things that can be plug and play and can be usable right away. I think the big opportunity with the shift to smart cities is whatever you measure, you can improve. With the Traffic Link product, it's 24-7, 365, which now they get to understand in all conditions, winter, summer, spring, school, in, school, out. Having that data allows the city to plan in a whole different way. I am very pleased with it. I am very happy with the customer service that we have. And over a five-year 
period, we're gonna have every intersection in Milton equipped with MyoVision. What's exciting to me is is actually not the technology, it's not the data, but it, the impact that really makes on, on people's lives.